Oh, oh. 
complete of two five. And as a result, the devil knows that what it means to everything God created is for a woman. And from the beginning, he started fighting man and woman. And that is why we because they come it together of man and woman as what make a husband, right? They come it together of a man and a woman is what make a family. That is what make a wife. You can't say I'm a wife when you don't have a husband. You want to see yourself? Somebody will speak. Yes, sir. You can't say I'm a husband when you don't have a wife. No matter how. Thank you. 
nothing when he deserved a king. Every unbeliever that does not know God is a dead man, is a walking horse. Jesus. Yeah. No, but the kind of person you must not marry. Don't 
they don't have value for marital institution. You know, said the man, get one for Africa. So I want to be one to do. Man, he is hard and 
leave his brother and cleave to his wife and two shall become one. That was the covenant. And God said in the book of Psalm, He said, My covenant will not be, neither will I utter that thing that will see out of my mouth. What will be covenant? Now that is the best thing. All kind of person you must not marry. Do not marry in desperado. Somebody shall be desperado.
your relationship. I do not want to see a If we marry two, three, four, five years to keep up, you will still love me.
is my ability to take responsibility. A man or woman is not taking responsibility. He is deciding what the family says. He is preventing it. God came to the nation. If he gets to the woman, how my job is the man? How my job is the woman? If you reason things with her, is she contributing positively? Is she taking this serious at all? It is an immature man that beats his wife. You are not natural person that beats your wife. Why are you beating your wife? I would say two shall become one. You know that you are no longer two persons. You are not one person. Have you ever seen a man beating himself on the street? You will just be eating himself. People say you are a one person. That's what they look like. For a man and man to be eating his life. Now, singles, you they date, they beat you. You say you will change. You know, will change you. By the time you get to the married property, all the children are going to be Run now, you won't run. You won't be the next ritual. I said you will not be an ritual. Run, you won't run. The guy is nice. The guy is good. Good is not the gift of the spirit. Check is nature. Check is nature is a devil in nature. And then my job is in. May God help us this afternoon. May God give us understanding in the name of Jesus. Any marriage that is not that channel by the power of the Holy Ghost will speak healing to that marriage. Any home that is on the verge of collapse will speak restoration to that home. Every hope that the enemy has had captive, we speak peace to that man. In the name of Jesus, every man of woman that has found that your marriage will not stand. Jesus, lift up your voice.
season. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please take this as we close. Don't let money be the determinant or the determining factor in your marriage. Money does not bring fulfilled marriage. Never does money bring fulfillment in life. If you think I'm asking, if you think I'm lying, if you see married people there, ask her why is she still fighting to become the president of France. But father is very worthy. She very worthy. It's not money that brings fulfillment in marriage. Many people here, each our Father and the Lord married without having document. But today they have a place more. Don't let it be the determinant. God bless you. This week, good news will meet you. Anyone plotting your fall will fall for your soul.